Basketball for me is more than just a game. It's something that I really love to do. From real young, I was just a baller. I couldn't get the basketball out of my hand. I committed to Washington, but in the back of my head, I was like, dang, I kind of wish I could have revived Mizzou. And I wish it was a Cinderella story where I come back and we, and we win, and then we we, we hit it far in the tournament, you know. And but, but you know that's not what happened. Michael Porter Jr., the nation's number one recruit, has decommitted from Washington and is headed to Mizzou, where he will join his dad, the Tigers' newest assistant coach. Packed stands, sold out crowd, you know. Everybody's cheering like crazy, and I can't even jump off the ground. Yeah, but then the, the game day comes. I remember going over to my dad and just being like, Dad, like, like you know I'll, I'll play through any type of pain. I played through bro broken. I can't play. I won't help the team playing like this. And he was like, all right, go tell coach. I got on the phone that night, got an MRI. I had to get surgery. Michael Porter Jr., their number one overall recruit, done for the season. And it's not meant to be for the Missouri Tigers. I at least want to play one game before I leave. But everybody in Columbia, Missouri has been waiting for it. It's a healthy Michael Porter. Also, watch for John Tay, Michael's brother, who's also on this team. Michael Sr. telling me to get those two on the court will be a beautiful moment for this family, something John Tay has prayed for every single day since Michael got injured. Describe what it's like to get through all of that adversity and make it to this stage still as a lottery pick. Man, all I can say is it's a blessing. You know, I'm not entitled to this. Everything's a blessing. Um, and I'm so excited. Um, you know, my path is different, a little different than everybody else's, but I'm gonna make sure that this pick is this organization's best pick they've ever made. Cheat code delight, said we all gonna be alright, so come again. 